Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Edge Sports Network. We've got another interview for you guys today, part of our summer series. we got Tyson Walker, Northeastern men's basketball. Tyson, thanks so much for joining us here on the site today. What's up? What's up? Great to have you on. Uh, some more local talent here in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Um, I want to start right here. I mean, you know, how have you been doing this off season with everything, you know, kind of staying on track with this pandemic going on? Um, this whole time during pandemic, I've just been rehabbing my shoulder. Mm-hmm. So it hasn't been bad. Just trying to get back to a hundred percent. For sure. For sure. Kind of using this time just to get ready for this upcoming year. I know you had a great first season with Northeastern here. You averaged 10 points a game, two rebounds, three assists, shot the ball well at 45%. You got plenty of play time, too. I mean, you played in 31 games in your first year, about 30 minutes a game. Coming into your first year of college basketball, was it kind of something you expected to play this much, or were you a little bit surprised to see the amount of opportunity you got? Um, Around, like, the first game when I, I played, like, basically, like, the whole game. Mm-hmm. That was a little surprising, but then after that, I was I was normal. For sure. Coach told me I was like I was the point guard, so mm-hmm. I expected to play after that. And I mean, how's it feel to kind of get that much play time in your first season? I know not a lot of guys really get that opportunity. How'd that help you, confidence wise, and how did it help you make the adjustment from high school to college? Um, it was good. It helped me really because it showed that how much trust they had in me mm-hmm. to play and to handle the ball like the whole game. So Mm -hmm. it was good. And I know, you know, you were really good in conference play as well in your first season here. I want to go back to that game against Elon. I mean, you had 32 points in 32 minutes. Uh, You shot 12 of 17 from the field here. Uh, That was the fifth, you know, highest point total among freshmen in school history in a game right there. So just an unbelievable game. And it was just the third game in conference play, I believe. So going into conference play, I mean, how was conference play this this first season? First of all, and going into it, going into it, do you prepare any differently, or is it just kind of business as usual? Um, it was kind of business as usual. Like every mm-hmm. game, kind of like the same. But mm-hmm. the the game with Elon, I came off having two good games before that yep. conference. So I guess I just fed off of that, mm-hmm. and every, most of the shots I was taking was going in. So. Oh, yeah. good. You looked really confident. You guys as a team looked really confident in conference play. I mean, you make it to the CAA championship. Um, for your first season, I mean, what's it like to play in a championship game like that? How was the atmosphere in that one? Oh, the atmosphere was crazy. Because mm-hmm. I didn't make, I didn't really expect like to be that loud in that gym. But yeah. It was. For it was sure. Crazy, man. I, and, I mean, I have to ask you this, too. I mean, going into a game like that, I'm sure, you know, any point of your career, it's probably pretty nerve-wracking at first. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's a few butterflies. It's your first season. I mean, this is really your first experience with a championship. Were you kind of nervous going into that one, or did you feel pretty confident? I felt pretty confident, honestly. I wasn't really nervous. Mm-hmm. Cause it felt like a regular game until, like, you, like, really thought, like, you win, you go to the tournament, but... It just felt normal. See, I feel like that's, you know, pretty tough to kind of have that mentality, that cool, calm, and collected mentality headed into a game like that. Um, But you handled it well. I know you guys are coming off a good year. I'm sure you'll build off that this upcoming season. Um, I know going, you know, back to your days before Northeastern here, I know you played a post-grad year at uh, the New Hampton School. So you kind of got adjusted to that New England style of play. I know the New Hampton School is obviously up in New Hampshire. How'd that kind of help you? Because I know you're, you know, you're from the East Coast, so I'm sure you're used to East Coast basketball. Is New England basketball a kind of different breed at all, or is it pretty similar to the basketball you're kind of accustomed to growing up in New York? Um, I would say the only difference really is just because the prep school league, people are just stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, and the way you prepare for games are a little different in mm-hmm. prep school. For sure. Normal high school, you don't really watch film mm-hmm. on who you're about to play. Yeah, so when you're taking that year at the prep school, was that something you had kind of always planned on doing, or was that something you you know, kind of looked at more as an option once you realized that college basketball was going to be a possibility? 
Um, no, I planned on that since eighth grade. Okay. Doing a mm-hmm. post grad year. Because mm-hmm. I graduated high school young, so mm-hmm. that was always the plan. And did you find it to be pretty beneficial for your development as well? Yeah, it worked out for me. Like, I gained 20 pounds being at pro school. Wow. Yeah. So, so kind of getting ready for that college experience and stuff. D1 basketball. Um, I know you obviously end up going to Northeastern here. So, I mean, what kind of made you choose Northeastern? What did you like about the school? How would the visit go? Um, and can you just walk us through that college decision process? So, um, when I got to New Hampton, I think I saw um, Northeastern coaches about every week wow. come to see me until I committed. So, that that was one thing. And, like, when I went to campus, it just – it's in the city, mm-hmm. great feel, you know. So being from New York, I didn't really want to go somewhere that's like in the country kind of. Yeah. So that's what was the main decision for me. And I know you go to a city like Boston, obviously with such a great sports culture. We're based about an hour outside of Boston um, in Worcester. So when you're kind of immersed in that Boston sports culture and just the city culture as a whole, you know, just history, the food, the tourism, you name it. They really have everything there. How is it being in Boston? I mean, how have you liked the city so far and just the Northeastern community, the Boston community? How's that experience been for you? Uh, being in Boston, it's been fun, honestly. Mm-hmm. But, I, yeah, it's fun. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't really go out that much to, mm-hmm. like, pull around. Mm-hmm. But... I would imagine I would imagine it's pretty tough. I, I, I would assume you're pretty busy during the school year, um, with basketball, with school and stuff, so probably tough to get out every now and then, but um definitely just a great city to be in for the college experience, I feel like. Um and you know, just kinda getting ready for college here, um, you know, backtracking a little bit to, you know, your days before Northeastern again. Is there Anything that you really learned in high school or a game that you improved on or a part of your game that you really found that you improved at a lot before you got to college, something that you kind of knew you had to tone up for Division One basketball that you really tried to focus on? Um, it had to be, like, scoring the ball more, mm-hmm. taking more shots. Because I never was, like, I never really took that many shots growing up. Mm-hmm. I was like always a big passer, mm-hmm. but that was one thing I really got better at. Yeah, your scoring was very efficient this year. I mean, you didn't only score the ball; you did it at an efficient rate. You know, as I mentioned earlier, forty-five percent um, at that guard position is very efficient. And I know you mentioned your passing here. I mean, you led the CAA in assists for all freshmen. So what's kind of, you know, your philosophy when it comes to getting others involved? I know, obviously, at that guard position, it's always important to establish team chemistry. But how do you kind of go about that? And how important do you rank kind of getting that ball around, moving it to your teammates, and making sure that everyone's working together? Um, It's important because I'm the one most of the time handling the ball. So mm-hmm. I figured if, if I'm getting everybody else the ball, then when it's my time to take a shot, it's like, it's fine. Getting yeah. those open looks for teammates. Um, and it, it led you guys to a championship this season. You got to that game. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't turn out how you guys wanted it to, but definitely something to build on next year. You're still very early in your Northeastern career here, so you still have plenty of time to work off this past season. Um, I always like to kind of wrap up the interview here with a few fun questions and then a question that you might have thought about, you might have not. We'll get to that down the road here. First fun question I have for you here. Um, is there a fun fact or just something that people might not know about you um, that, you know, something, you know, I don't know, a hidden talent, just something that people might not really realize? Uh, well, this is tough. Um, something people don't know about. I don't know. Maybe that I'm funny. There you go. Yeah, because if you don't know me, I don't speak. So, <laughs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Every every team needs uh, a guy in the locker room who can make the others laugh. I mean, that's what every team really needs right there. Because course of a season, it can get pretty uh, stressful at times. So you got to have someone to kind of bring bring the mood back to like a a calm level right there. So 
Um, that's definitely always good. Every locker room definitely needs that. And um, I also got to ask, I mean, growing up and stuff, I'm sure basketball has been a pretty big part of your life. When did you start playing basketball, by the way? Like, at what age did you kind of pick up pick up the game? Uh, like around six. Around six, yes, sir. So, you know, yeah. growing up then, I mean, was there any guy that you kind of looked up to when you were a kid or just, you know, middle school, high school, any players that you really, you know, admired their game? Um, well, I have an older brother, so mm -hmm. I always like to watch them play, worked out with more time. So mm -hmm. if you watch him play, then you'll, be, you'll see that we play just to like, so I guess that, that's it right there. For sure, yeah. And I'm guessing growing up, pretty competitive household when both you and your brother are playing basketball. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure. For sure. That's a that's always the best way to learn though, right there. You gotta you gotta, you know, start in the driveway and, and go from there. Start with the pickup basketball and just keep working on it. Um that's really how, how every start kinda gets going right there. Every career gets started. And um I know another fun question I got for you here, I mean if you could sit down with one NBA player you know, they can be of any era, past or present here. They can be dead or alive. If you could sit down with one NBA player and get lunch, talk to for a couple hours, pick their brain apart, who would that NBA player be? Damian Lillard. That's a good choice. First one to say Damian Lillard, too. He is a, he is a killer on the court. There's no doubt yeah. about that. No doubt about that. Um, Definitely a good choice right there. And, I mean, you're headed into your second season with, you know, Northeastern right now. Uh, what are you kind of looking forward to this year? Do you have any, you know, really big goals that you're prioritizing for yourself and the team? I'm trying to get back to the championship game. That's mm -hmm. it. For sure. I'm win that. No doubt about it. And then, I That's mean. That's like my main goal right there. Oh, for sure. And then, you know, obviously you guys have that chance to go to the NCAA tournament. That's the next step right there after that championship. And then I know you guys made it last year. So you guys definitely, you know, have the ability as a program to get back there. And then once you, you know, kind of get to that step, hopefully everything is back to normal. I mean, let, let's say that first and foremost, once you get to that step, I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, once you get to that step, it's really only up from there. So I'm sure that'd be a great experience for you. Um, I know you guys are definitely coming off a year where you can build off of that. Um, so let's hope this year is normal as possible. Uh, to close up here, I mean, I just want to ask you, I always like to end on a kind of a question you have to think about a little bit, but let's look like five to seven years down the road. Uh, if you could kind of come up with the perfect scenario for yourself, uh, what would be the ideal situation for Tyson Walker in like the year 2025, 2027? Getting paid. There that. you go. That's there it. you go. That's the best goal to have. Best goal to have right there. So, um, I mean, you've set yourself up nicely so far. Um, congrats on a great first year at Northeastern. Um, I'm sure it's going to be really fun to watch you guys this year. Wishing you nothing but the best of luck for this upcoming season. Um, again, I really do hope it gets started on time for you guys. I'm sure you guys are hoping all the same. Um, but Tyson Walker, thanks so much for joining us here on Edge Sports Network today. It was great talking to you. Uh, we'd always be glad to have you back on the site. Appreciate it. Thank you. No problem at all. We'll put your info down below so people can go track your career and follow you. And we'll also put a link to Northeastern's website for their basketball page so you guys can check for news and updates this upcoming season and beyond. But, guys, thanks so much for joining us here on Edge Sports Network for another interview of our summer series. And, as always, we'll see you guys next time.